Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another Trucker's Wife's Life. Awesome, I got it right this time. I know I always make a make a mistake on that. Um, as of right now, I'm just uh, trying to think on how I'm going to do my book right now, which you guys already saw. Everybody in that in that everything that was in that folder was the pages. Okay, it's not complete, but I will let you guys know. I'm hoping you guys buy my book because it's getting interesting. Um, I still haven't found any. No fan mail has been coming, which that's okay. Um, guess you guys started not liking me, but look, this new. I'm glad everybody liked my my hair. I mean, that was awesome. Um, keep watching that, I guess. Um, I'm not a boy, but that's all right. I went to a baby shower today, which I couldn't videotape it anyway. And the reason I couldn't videotape it is because I was showing respect to my cousin. Then I went to the store, bought some hairspray for the hair, comb, for the hair so I can get the bangs down you know or mess and get all this out of the way I'm still learning how to tr I'm gonna be training it which my daughter my oldest daughter does not like my hair at all she, when she got in the Jeep today cuz she was at her friend's house cuz she had a dance <coughs> she said that I was gay because I my hair. Well, she's probably not used to it yet. So I can't hold that against her right now. There's the sirens. That means curfew. We do have a curfew down here. So, nothing's really going on right now. It's just I'm just trying to relax because all the running around we did today. Um, we went to the mall. Um, I will show you guys the mall. It's that mall is so small. I mean, I mean they can make it bigger if they wanted to. They can also put more stores in that place, but you know, I will show you why. It's kind of dull. You got a movie theater, an arcade in there. They got Didums, that's a sports goods store. Um, Claire's Bath Body Works in there. And they got, I think, Sears in there. Or Jace. One of the big stores in there. And that's just about it. You know, and a little, a teensy weensy food court, only with three places in it, you know, to eat. You know, so that's cute. <coughs> you need more foods court, big time. Um, the other mall that is, that is, uh, close by, that is a bigger mall, because it's a bigger town. And the small mall is called the Carnation Mall. And now that's in Alliance, Ohio. I will show you the how teensy weensy mall is compared to the mall, the big mall. It's called Belton Village Mall. Or West West something. I do go to the malls. You know, just to look around like girls' day out, I will show you. But we go to Pennsylvania for that. And I'm hoping that people will come and greet me and, you know, whatever. And then we just came home, you know. It's Sunday. I mean, Sundays is usually the relaxing day for people that, before they go to work, you know. But, 
I gotta find out what's going to, what am I going to wear tomorrow, you know? Huh, let's see here. Well, I got another pair of jeans in my drawer. I've got another, I got a Federated shirt that I could wear. I'll show you. This is a long sleeve shirt. That says Federated on it. I have to wear something Federated during the week because of my work. I'm a driver, which it's starting to get boring. I'm sorry to say it is. It's like I think I'm driving my mom crazy. I need to get out of that. I need to get out of here or something. You know, I got to do what I want to do. Remember what I said? Do what I want to do. Not what everybody else wants me to do. But I can't lose this job right now. Because if I lose this job, then I don't know how to pay my bills. I don't know how to make videos for you guys. I don't know. I don't know nothing. You know, I won't have nothing, you know, because if I lose my job, I'm done, you know, then I got to work on the book really fast and I got to get my mom motivated on it and my aunt motivated on it. It's like, I got to have money, dude. You know, I mean, this is my job right now because I got fired from my other one. I can't get fired. I can't get fired. I can't quit. I can't do nothing right now until I work on that book. It's just driving me nuts. But it's going to have to do for now. You know, I've been working at my job for at least 17 years. Okay. I'm the oldest out of the drivers. Okay. I love the job. I love the job easy job but I it just feels like I want something more into it but there is you know I mean I, you guys already seen it my work could be a drama TV show if it wanted to be but Bo won't allow that you know it's kind of weird what do you want hot chocolate girl Peace offering. Oh, huh, thanks. Yep. Have a nice day. Yep. She gave me hot chocolate. Let me see if I can see. It's not even that hot. Yeah, so. I have to have this job, you know. I can't quit. Everybody asks me, why don't you just quit your job? Easier said than done, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy said than done. I mean, my work's not that bad, you know. But when you're working with your mom, it's like, I think we're just driving each other crazy. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think I need to go do something else, you know. I mean, my mom's in a lot of stress as it is, you know. Because she's the manager at my store. But you know what? I try not to drive her nuts. <sighs> Friday was unbelievable. Oh my god, I was so mad. It's like my anger sp sp spiked up. You know, I have... I don't have an anger issue, okay, but it's just a workplace that gets you all the time, you know. I see things that my mom can't even see, you know. I don't know. It, it, it's just, uh, this is delicious. <laughs> mm. Let's 
Delicious, too. <laughs> but, yeah, you know. I, I just... You gotta work hard if you have a dream. And I have a dream out there. I mean, I would like to be the on the Ellen show. I would like to be on Je Jimmy Fallon's show. You know. I would like to be on a TV show. You know, it's like. But, you know what? I gotta work at it. I have to work at it first, you know. I gotta get my name out there. I gotta get my get my book out there you know that that's what I'm working on people don't really really know me yet you know I mean I've had people on my YouTube page of course but do they really 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 know me no they don't <clears throat> and they're not going to they're not going to chase you down They're not. They're not going to chase you down. You got to go to them. Which I've been trying for years. But I think I have another way to get to them. It doesn't. It's not really hard. Writing to them. They'll think that you want something from them. Like a picture of them or... What, you know, you want to be in the movies, and it's like, dude, how did you guys get in? It's like, well, they got out there, you know, you got to get out there. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's my new lifestyle. I'm going to be going out. I'm going to be videotaping out there. I'm going to show you some places. I'm going to show you, not like a drive-by, no. I'm going to stop. And I want, to, I want you to take a look at some places for me, with me, okay? So next weekend, we are going to a place. We're going on a little field trip after work Saturday. So, let's be prepared for that. Don't know where I'm going. But let's get out there, you know. Start making, meeting new people. It is time. I've been in this bedroom for so long. They still don't know me. It's time to get out there. It's time to change my lifestyle a lot. Staying in this bedroom is not going to get me there. I got to get out there. Just like all the other actors kept on telling me, get out there. Don't sit around. Because it'll never get it done. So, I'm going to start listening to them. Whatever I have to do, I'm working on it. Being an actress, you know, they do work hard. You know, being an actor, you know, they're tired. I have saw some people, you know, try to take pictures of them and everything. Of course they're going to take pictures of you. Because they're famous. But sometimes they're just tired of the paparazzi just following them around. They don't want pitch their pictures taken. They're exhausted and, you know. I just wish the. That's not what I'm ready for is that paparazzi just following you around and just taking pictures, you know. And it's like, please, guys, I need just to go, you know. And I feel bad for the actors, you know. I really do. They're just trying to do their business, that's all they're doing. You know, they don't need their picture taken every second of the day. They don't. <clears throat> I'm hoping that they get their, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm hoping that, I'm glad they don't, oh 
Oh my god. <coughs> I hope that they, uh, I'm glad they don't follow them to their houses and start waiting for them there. I don't think I'm ready for the paparazzi. But I'm going to have to get rid, I'm going to have to get used to them. You know? I mean, uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. Just imagine a lot of people just putting you in magazines and everything. And, and, and they follow you of your life story, too. I mean, it's like, it's like, okay, I'm going to pick an actor, but I'm not really, I'm not really saying it, it happened, okay? Because <clears throat> you got to watch, because you will spread rumors around them a lot, okay? I mean, real fast. It will go flying. Let's say that, let me pick an actress. Sandra Bullock found a person in the crowd and started kissing on them. That would fly. <coughs> Excuse me. That would fly. No matter what. Because if any actor sees another person that they don't know, they're like, is that her boyfriend? Oh my god. The, the rumors will spread. I mean, like that. You gotta watch what you do and everything else. It's like, okay, that's not true. You know, that's just a rumor and everything. They're just trying to get you in trouble sometimes. Not most of the time, but sometimes. <clears throat> I, I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to be ready for pop press. You know, if I ever get rich... I'm going to one of the Chef Ramsey's restaurants. I haven't decided on... I think he's got one in New York. So I'm thinking about going to his restaurant. I'm not picking the VIP either. I just want to see... I just want to taste his food. <coughs> Yeah, I, that's what I want to do. I want to go to Chef Ramsey's restaurant. He is such a great chef. Because I've got something for him, too. You know, I've got somebody that might, you know, join his team, you know. And he's been dreaming to be a chef all of his life, you know. And he is a good chef, too. He was just got on TV not too long ago. So I'm hoping that he gets to meet him, too, so. I wish him luck, though. Yes, Stephen Beatty, I'm talking about you. So, I'm just hoping that uh, I will get to do my dreams. And my dreams is going to one of Chef Ramsey. I'm thinking about taking my mom, taking my aunt, down to one of Chef Ramsey's restaurants. Because they've been working so hard on the book, you know. And they deserve it. Who knows? I might meet the man himself. If not, that's okay too, you know? Never know. Never know what's going to happen. So that's where I'm going to take the girls. We're going to New York. We're going to go to his restaurant and we're going to eat. So. Well, that's it for this video for right now. So you guys take care and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. So you guys have a wonderful day. Keep it awesome. Please subscribe, comment, favorite, links in the prescription, and you guys have a wonderful day. Later.